Hi, this is King of Review. In this problem, we're asked to find the value of n. n is the exponent here. Matrix A to the power of n gives you this matrix. So we want to find out which exponent to put here for n that will give you this matrix. And we're given what A is equal to. So what we want to do here is let's try a couple different values for n and see what matrix we get. So here, a is the same thing as a to the power of 1. So we know that we get this matrix here when the power is equal to 1. Now let's try a squared. a squared is a times a, so we have matrix a times itself. So 1, 0, negative 1, 1, and we're multiplying that times itself. So 1, 0, negative 1, 1. So we want to find out what this product is. Now the product of two matrices is defined as long as the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Now both of these matrices are 2 by 2 two rows by two columns. Now because these two numbers are equal, we are allowed to multiply them together. So let's go ahead and set up the multiplication for these. When you multiply two matrices together, you're going to multiply corresponding entries in the first row of the first matrix times the entries in the first column of the second matrix, and then add those two products together. So let's set up the math for these entries. The first entry is 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1. So I got that by multiplying 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1. That's our first entry. So we'll follow in the same fashion for the remaining entries. The second entry is going to be negative 1 times 1 plus 1 times negative 1. Moving over to the second column, we have 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1. And the last entry, negative 1 times 0 plus 1 times 1. Now let's simplify these entries. So 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1, that gives us 1. Negative 1 times 1 plus 1 times negative 1, this gives us negative 2. 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1 is 0, and negative 1 times 0 plus 1 times 1 gives us 1. So now we know that when n equals 2, we get this matrix here. Well, it doesn't look like this one, so we can't stop here. Let's go ahead and try a matrix A cubed. So in this case, our n value is 3. So A cubed, that's the same thing as A squared times A. Because A is the same thing as A to the first power, and if you add these exponents together, you get 3. So we know what a squared is. We solved for that here. So a squared is the matrix 1, 0, negative 2, 1. And matrix A was given in the problem. 1, 0, negative 1, 1. And so now let's multiply these two together. So we'll multiply just like we did for a squared. We're going to multiply the corresponding entries in the first row of the first matrix times the entries in the first column of the second matrix and add those two products together. So when we do this, we'll get the matrix 1, 0, negative 3, and 1. So now what I want to do is take a look at this matrix here. So we haven't quite got the matrix that we're asked for in the problem. This is a negative 3 here. But let's set up a little table to see what we've found so far. So when we have matrix A to the first power, 
it looks like it looks like so far for all of these matrices we get we have a one a zero and a one a one a zero and a one up here it's a one a zero and a one all of these entries are the same the only thing that changes is this lower left hand entry so let's pay attention to that lower left hand entry so when we have matrix a to the first power the lower left hand entry is negative one when we have a squared this lower left hand entry is negative two when we have a to the third power, the lower left hand entry is negative three. So what do we expect A4 to be? Well, if we follow this pattern, it seems like this lower left hand entry is decreasing by one each time. So this would be a negative four. So if we have A to the power of N, this is equal to a lower left hand entry of negative n. So it's negative one times whatever exponent is here. So let's look at our original question here. A to what power gives this matrix? And here we have a negative five. So A to what power, there's a question mark here, gives us a lower left hand entry of negative five. Well, if we follow this rule here, we know that this number here, this question mark number, must be a 5. So A, matrix A to the power of 5 will give us this matrix 1, 0, negative 5, and 1. So the answer is N equals 5. Thanks for watching.